Hi, now let's see how we can solve simultaneous linear inequalities. So for example, you're given a question like this, and there are three parts to it, and you're asked to find x. So to do this, we need to break down this inequality into two equations. The first one will be 4x plus 14 is less than or equals to x plus 5. The second one will be x plus 5 is less than 3x minus 1. After we solve these two equations, we can compare what we have and determine what are the likely values for x. So, so let's look at the first equation. We want to bring the x to the left hand side, so we minus x on both sides. You will have 3x plus 14 less than or equals to 5. Now we want to shift 14 to the other side, so we minus 14 on both sides you will have 3x less than or equals to minus 9. So x is less than or equals to minus 3. For the other equation, we do the same. We bring the 3x to the left hand side, and then you will have minus 2x less than, and then we want to minus 5 on both sides, so you have less than minus 6. Now x is greater than minus 6 divided by minus 2 is 3. Remember that the sign flips when you divide or multiply by a negative sign. There you have your solution. So x can take on any values which is less than or equal to minus 3, or x can be any value that is greater than 3. So let us draw the number line to see how this looks. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Now this equation says that x can take on any value that is less than or equals to negative 3. So we draw a dot here to signify that this includes the negative 3 and then an arrow in this direction to say that x can take on any value to the left hand side. We do the same for the right hand side. But on the right hand side, x is greater than 3 and x is not inclusive of 3, so we draw a circle and it takes on any value on this side. So let's look at another example. Let's say you want to find a value for x that satisfies two equations or two inequalities. You start off first by solving the first equality. 3x is less than or equals to x plus 6 and 2x is less than or equals to 6, x is less than or equals to 3. Now, we look at the other inequality, 2x plus 4 is less than 3x plus 6. Shift the 3x to the left side, you have minus x. Shift the 4 to the other side, you will have 2. So x is greater than minus 2. Remember that you have to flip the sign. Now you know that x must satisfy these two conditions. x must be less than or equal to 3, and at the same time, x must be more than negative 2. So let's see what this looks like on the number line. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, negative 2, negative 3. Okay, so x is less than or equal to 3, so we know that x, you have to draw a dot because it's inclusive of 3, takes on all the values towards the left hand side. Now for the other expression, x is greater than negative 2, it, it looks like this. So for the x values that is able to satisfy both inequalities, the x value must range from here to here. And if we examine the shaded area, we can see that x is between negative 2 and 3. So let's write this. x is between negative 2 and 3. Now remember that you have to take care of the edge cases. So 
x must be greater than negative 2 but not equals to negative 2 and x is less than n equals to 3. So that's your answer. Now let's see how we can make use of what we have learned to solve a real world problem. If the sum of three consecutive integers is less than 75, find the cube of the largest possible integer. So like all problem sums, always let x be something and in this case we want it to be the largest possible integer. Let's try to formulate our equation. Since x is the largest possible integer and we want to add three consecutive integers, we will have to add the largest possible integer plus the second largest possible integer plus the third largest because they are consecutive numbers so the second largest must be one smaller than the largest and the third largest must be two smaller than the largest so these three numbers after you add them up together they are less than 75 so if you solve this equation you will be able to find x and x is the largest possible integer we add the x up you will have 3x minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 less than 75 so 3x is less than 78 and x will be less than 26 because 78 divided by 3 is 26 so what do we know we know that the largest possible integer is less than 26 so we know that x is equals to 25 because 25 is the largest possible number that is smaller than 26. You are not done because they want you to find the cube of the largest possible integer. And the cube simply means that you want to multiply by itself three times. So x cubed is 25 times 25 times 25. And that is equals to 15625. 